Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. I want to apologize right now for the sneezing, the coughing, the blowing the nose that may occur while I do these videos. I came down with a cold yesterday. It is Wednesday. No, yesterday was Wednesday. It is Thursday. February 13, 2014. And this, as soon as it pulls up, is the morning daily light on the daily path. Upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness of the appearance of a man above upon it. Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 26 and of the glory of God. And above the firmament was, God bless you, and above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne, as the appearance of a sapphire stone. And upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of man above upon it. Sorry. The man, Jesus, Christ Jesus, made in the likeness of man, found in fashion as a man, for as much as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. I am he that liveth and was dead, and, behold, I am alive forevermore. Christ being raised from the dead dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he, live, he liveth unto God. What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? He raised him from the dead, and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. In him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of God. For we also are weak in him but we shall live with him by the power of God. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5 For there is one God, and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 2, verses 7 and 8 But made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 For as much then as the children are partakers of, the flesh, of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil. Revelation chapter 1 verse 18, I am he that liveth, and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen, and have the keys of hell and of death. Romans chapter 6 verse 9, Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. John chapter 6 verse 62 What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? Ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 Which he wrought in Christ, when he raised him from the dead, and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly place. Colossians chapter 2 verse 9 
For he, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And the last one, Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God toward you. And that's the morning daily light on the daily path for Thursday, February 13, 2014. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. Do you know Christ as your Lord and Savior? If you don't, now is the perfect time. Cry out to Him. Ask Him to forgive you of your sins. Christians, ask Him to forgive you of your rebellions, your mistakes, because those rebellions are worse than sins. Because when you rebel, you know you shouldn't be doing it. You know in your heart you feel it, but you just choose to do it anyways. The sinners have their ignorance to cover them. We're not ignorant. We know. We just choose to do what we shouldn't. And we shouldn't do that. It's a rebellion. Pray to Him daily, not just for yourself, but for others also. And not just for prayers. Ask Him, you know, talk to Him. Just tell Him about your day. He wants that intimate, divine, that divine intimacy with you. Inform others about Him. It should be our joy to spread the good word, the life, death, resurrection of Christ our Lord, of our Father, of, you know, the word. And I love you guys so very much. God bless.